Hello my champions, I am Instructor Piali and I am back again with yet another lesson called the Spooky Skeleton. Now this is going to be very special. Does this word spooky remind you of something? Can you identify the day when we celebrate the spookiness around us? Well, if you've got it, congratulations, you're absolutely correct. But for those who are yet to understand the which day I'm talking about, let us read the lesson together to understand what it is. On the morning of 31st, the October, a buzz of excitement filled the cool autumnal air. Masterfully carved jack-o'-lanterns decked out doorways. Elegant black cats grazed windows and countless cobwebs crawled across the ceilings. The classroom at the local school was a zoo. All of the rambunctious students discussed nothing but their plans for Halloween. What would they dress up as? Which movies were they going to watch? How many sweets would they get from trick-or-treating? All students, that is but one, Becky. Rather than look forward to it with eager excitement, poor Becky dreaded Halloween. I wish this day could be over already, she thought to herself. Oh my God, you've already got that name there. It is, of course, the Halloween day, right? And there we celebrate the spookiness around us, absolutely. And here the date that I was talking about, October 31st. It is, of course, the season of autumn and thus called as autumnal air which is linked to, of course, the season autumn. Masterfully here would mean with great skill. Jack O lanterns. Have you ever seen these? Yes, this is exactly what we term as Jack O lanterns. Very famous, is it? And they're carved out of pumpkins and masterfully carved, of course. These are all gracing. That is decorating the event, the day. Decked out would mean decorated in a fancy way. What does rambunctious mean? That would mean a very loud and energetic group of children. Boisterous. Here it is used as an adjective which is describing how these students are behaving on that special day. Everybody is so very excited, very, very energetic and all talking. Is it? They're all excited about the day. Trick or treating. Well, this is a very well-known tradition on this special day where children in their costume visit houses on Halloween and <laughs> either threaten a, a prank or are given sweets. Wow. You prank, <laughs> you make others scared, and you also get a gift for it. <laughs> yes, that is trick-or-treating. Very good. Now, the children are all excited except one. Who's that? Who's that little girl? She's Becky. She's not at all excited. Rather, she just wishes the day to be over. Becky's classmates were aware that her phobia of Halloween came from her fear of skeletons and rather than show empathy towards her, they decided to play a prank on her. But first, needed a decoy. Becky over here! Mike yelled. Becky gave Mike a dubious look. She and Mike barely spoke to each other. What could he possibly want? Reading her expression and taking advantage of her kind nature, Mike quickly added, I need your help with something. As Becky began to walk towards Mike, the cupboard door next to her suddenly burst open. 
Elliot had kicked down the door, let out a shriek, and pushed a skeleton right in front of her. Becky jumped out of her skin. That wasn't funny, she screamed through her tears. Shaking like a leaf for the rest of the day, she was grateful when the last bell of the day finally signaled for everyone to go home. Poor little Becky. Right, this is just not fair. Everybody knew that Becky was having a phobia of skeletons. What is phobia? Phobia is when you have intense fear of something. And Becky was extremely scared of skeletons. And thus, she was always very frightened at this day, which is Halloween, of course. But then, the classmates of Becky were not at all empathetic towards her. What, is, what does that word mean? Empathy. That is sharing and understand. When you share and understand others' feeling, that is empathy. Are you empathetic towards, empathetic towards your friends, your society, your surrounding? How do you treat others? Very important to know. Well, they all wanted to prank Becky and they needed a decoy. What is that? Decoy is something used to lead someone into a trap. So they actually used Elliot to get Becky near the cupboard and then whoop! A skeleton came out. Wow, that is not fair. Have you been treated like this ever by somebody? If you would have been there in place of Becky, what would you do? Are you also scared of something? That is absolutely okay to be scared of something. That is absolutely okay. But we should know how to deal with that, right? But before I go to the next part of it, I would like to get your attention to a word here. The word is P -O -O -R, P-O-O-R, poor. Okay, now poor. Does that give you an understanding of what the word is? Can we use this word poor in different ways? Can you tell me what does these words look like? Are they similar or different? Well, P -O -O -R, P-O-O-R, can be used in two ways. One can make you understand that a thing or something is of, a, of a, an inferior standard or quality. And the other meaning of P-O-O-R could be poverty stricken. All right. Now, the words that I showed you are going to tell you about a new concept. What is that? Have you ever been through these words? Homophones or homonyms? What does that mean? Well, homo, as you may know, means same. But the difference occurs when we put a name or a phone. Homophone is comprising of two words. Homo means same. Phones means word. Sound. The sound of a word. Okay. And the next one, homo name. Homo again, same. Nim means name. So what is the difference? Well, homophone are the words that sound same, but the spelling is different and so is the meaning. Whereas homonym, they sound the same, spell the same, but they mean different. Like I have example for you. For homophone, I have used the word sun. S-U-N and S-O-N. They mean different, but then they sound the same. But the spelling is different though. And for homonym, I've taken the word fair, as you say, F-A-I-R, which spells the same, sounds the same, but means absolutely different. The teacher was being fair to me, where you are absolutely just. Are you going to the fair today? 
a place of enjoyment. And for homophones that I have, the sun rises in the east and my son studies at Oxford. I hope you've had a great time with me. The next time that we meet, we are going to continue with the lesson and your homework is to let me know different homophones and homonyms that you have learned in today's class. See you. Bye.